How's it going, nerds? Welcome, welcome back to Dorkchester International Airport. Welcome back to Airport CEO. I certainly hope you're having a good one because I'm excited to be back. I've got some ideas. We've had some feedback. We've had some discussion in the comment section. And I want to talk about it. In the last episode, in the comments of the last episode, there were a few people that mentioned that there are different ways I could set up the baggage security. And what they mean is that my system over here on the left side, where we have, you know, generic scanner into specific scanners into manned scanner, is potentially going to give a lot of false positives on baggage. And what that means is essentially, you know, this bag here might have nothing in it, right? That's basically what that means. There might be nothing in it. There might be no problem. But this scanner, for whatever reason, has said that there is a problem. So it's going to throw it out and destroy it. And then obviously everything goes through this series of scanners. And if any one of these detects something, then it gets destroyed, right? And then if none of these detect something, but this guy finds something, it gets destroyed. Essentially, it could be a system that has has flaws in it. And I've seen a lot of people discussing different methods to do baggage scanning. I've seen a lot of people saying that, you know, if something gets rejected by the general scanner, send it to uh, a manned scanner. Basically give baggage like a second chance or a third chance to fail or something like that. That's kind of what I feel this is. You know, the first chance for baggage is here. Your second chance is here. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. You know, you get seven chances with your bags to get through here. A linear chance, you know. Step one through seven. If you do all of those, your bag gets on the plane. If you fail any one of those, your bag does not get on the plane. With that said, I have been doing some research into some alternate systems. And I want to show you one of them over here. Uh, so this is essentially uh, an alternate way of doing things. And what this system does is says, okay, general scanner, did it find anything? No. Bag gets on the plane, no problem. General scanner, did it find something? Okay, let's run it through the specific scanners. If they don't find anything, which in this case they did, but if they don't find anything, it then goes onto the plane. If they do find something, it goes and gets checked manually, at which point, if it passes, it gets on the plane. Right? So that is... That's an interesting system. And I mean, some of these are still going and getting destroyed. And obviously, this is quite the spaghetti junction of, um, of, of baggage belts and all that. But I'm curious to see if this ends up being better for us or if the system on the left side ends up being better for us. I don't really know which one will work out. I, I honestly, I have no idea, but I'm curious and I'm excited. So I do appreciate the feedback. I'm excited to see if we're right or wrong or what's going on. But today on top of that, oh my God, hello. That's not quite how planes work, but all right. Uh, today, what I'm thinking we're gonna do, honestly, oh, why can a service vehicle not reach its job site? Doesn't even tell me what vehicle it is. That's a great load of use to me, isn't it? All right, we're not gonna worry about that then. Uh, today, what I'm thinking we're gonna do is we're gonna build, is, is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get ourselves, I'm thinking, honestly, concrete. I'm thinking concrete here. We're gonna do some concrete for these large aircraft stands. They're $400,000 each. We can get one there, we can get one right there. They don't actually have, uh, they don't need jetways, which is really good news for me because I don't really want to build jetways just yet. Uh, I do want to build them eventually, but right now I do not want to build jetways. Uh, now looking at this, as it stands, I think we're only going to manage to get one of these over here. I would really like two though, but I think what we'll do is we'll do two large aircraft stands over here for the time being. We'll just, you know, we'll see how it works out and then we can uh, go ahead and get more on the other side of the airport. And I've also seen comments that have mentioned that apparently large aircraft can drive perfectly fine 
on a taxiway that is five tiles wide. I don't know if that's true or not, but apparently that's a thing. I remember needing bigger taxiways at one point, or the game at least telling me that I needed bigger taxiways. But we'll do some testing. Is what we'll do. We'll do some testing. We'll see if it works out. We'll see if it doesn't. Uh, but first, before we even get there, we are going to want to... Oh, wow. I just realized... Oh, I know what I've done there. I'm an idiot. We need to bulldoze those stands. Absolute idiot me. Hold on. Uh, so bulldoze... Cannot... Oh, it's on. Right. Uh, bulldoze you. Turn you off. Bulldoze you. Then we go in and we actually just bulldoze all of this. And then obviously the aircraft stands just go right up against the uh right up against the terminal building so right there if it would place and right there and that way traffic can keep pushing through there as well so that's perfectly fine we'll go ahead and get the taxiway again i know i know we haven't really used concrete anywhere else but i just want to use it for these large stands to set them apart a little bit now having a look at this we're obviously going to need some check-in spaces we're obviously going to need some gates uh some doors all that good stuff so let's get some doors in the correct spaces there i don't think we need this door anymore and i don't think we need that door so let's go ahead and just get the walls back in for those bits and uh let me see we don't need that one either so let's take you out let's go ahead and get some wall there so that door is fine that door is fine that one is gone Let's make sure these are secure spaces as well. And then we're going to have to figure out how exactly we're going to do the desks for these large planes. Because they are, I mean, they're going to they're gonna move a lot of people is what they're going to do. Uh, so that's the check-in desk. We want the boarding desk. And I'm thinking we're going to go for, we'll go for this one. We'll go for the usual. By the way, a bunch of my boarding desks are backwards. I, I don't know if anyone's noticed that, but yeah, this one here, for example, is backwards. I, I do mean to fix that. I just, to do it, I need to completely disable a stand, and I don't want to do that right now. So just thought I'd let you know that some of my boarding desks are backwards in case you've seen that. And you're like, hey, why is he not fixing this? Uh, I, I, kn I know they are. I just, yeah, we'll get to it. So let's do uh, a, ch a boarding desk there. Let's do a boarding desk there. We're going to do our usual thing of putting a wall around it. And we'll do the same over here as well. With a wall sort of going like that. And then what I want to do is I want to measure this. So this is currently 38. So that would be 19, I want to say, would be our midpoint. So that's our midpoint there. So what I'm looking to do is I want to go... Let me see here. I want to build a wall there. And I want to build a wall there. Just so I have that marker. And from there, I'm thinking we're going to go like this. And I'm thinking we're going to go like this. And we're going to go down by... Let's say 20. We might need to go down by uh, about 10 more, actually. Because this might be... There might be a lot of planes... Uh, coming in here, but we'll do we'll do 20 for the time being. We'll go down by 20 here as well. We'll go by 21 just to make that nice and even there. Uh, we'll go 21 there as well. And uh, that's essentially going to be the check-in area or the, the seating area for that gate, which again might not be enough. Let's just go. Let's go another nine and let's go another nine here as well. That should be enough space. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. Uh, so let's get ourselves some gate seating. And what I want to do is essentially space it out. Uh, I think, you know, something like that will be fine. Although it might be better to... Uh, it's not really going to go central, is it? Okay, let's do it this way. We'll do it along that wall. Just the entire way done. And I imagine this will be enough seating. Uh, we'll go... We'll not go quite that far. We could go like this if we really wanted to and have a really narrow... Uh, gap in the middle there which honestly I'm gonna do because I've been in a few airports in my time and I mean they usually are I mean they're not usually that bad in terms of spacing but I'm I'm okay with having it be quite narrow I'm not gonna lie uh, so let's go into blueprints let's grab ourselves 
all of these and let's place them just down here and also go ahead and grab the uh, the other seat as well so there we go we've got all of those in there we can go ahead and paint them to the dorkchester orange is what we'll do there so we'll get those all painted up we'll get the gates done as well and then uh that reminds me i i realized i saw <laughs> I saw so many comments about this chair right here that's in front of the plant. And, uh, <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm leaving it there. It annoys me as much as it annoys you, but because so much attention was drawn to it, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> um, I did also see a bunch of people saying put more trash cans in, so we will do that. I'm not that stubborn. Um, but yeah, I'm leaving that chair there just because I can. <laughs> just because I can. That is the only reason. Uh, so yeah, we'll have a bunch of trash cans about there. Let's see what we can do for these gates here, though. So we want to get ourselves uh, a bit more of this concrete. And we'll just do that entire space with concrete right there. We'll do the entire space there as well. We'll go ahead and get ourselves this right here to be a bit of an edging there. We'll do the same here. And I'm wondering if I could get myself a little bit of, uh, let me see here, flight info display. Yeah, it fits perfectly there. So we'll do some flight info displays like that. We could do a couple of flight info displays like that as well, just down at the bottom. So, oh, these are not spaced the same. Interesting. Very interesting. I might have gone too far on one of these. Uh, let me bulldoze you. And let me change this floor back to what it should be. I think it's supposed to be this one. It absolutely is. And then underneath the info displays is uh, this one right here. So there we go. That seems all right. So let's connect this up to everything. So this needs connected to a stand. And this needs connected to a stand. The stand needs connected to a baggage bay, which is going to be this one. And this stand needs connected to a baggage bay as well. I'm going to turn both the stands off for a second just to make sure that they are I'm pretty sure they are completely functional. Yes, they are. Okay. I mean I think what we have to do here honestly is switch them on and bring some some large aircraft in here. Let's do it. Let's let's do this. Let's have a little look at our flight planner. We have some large aircraft stands up there. We'll let the game run cuz it will eventually throw some flights in there. You know, we have a lot of flight capacity, so this could be... This could be something. This could definitely be something if the, uh... That's if the taxiways work, of course. Although the game had a bit of a hiccup there. Come on. Let me have a look through here. Is it is it gonna do it? Do we have any large flights that want to come in here? I guess we'll give it a second. It might be the case that the taxiways are too small. That is a very distinct possibility. A passenger can't board. Make sure a boarding desk is accessible. What's going on with you? What do you mean you can't board? The desk is right there. There's apparently no flight scheduled. Locked stand connection. Can't clear or change the stand connection while the flight is scheduled. That's fine. So, do we just not have staff on that stand? That might be the case. That could be the case. We have any flights scheduled here? No and no. Interesting. Can I increase the number of people on one of these? No, I can't. Okay. All right. Well, that's fair enough. I did also see, speaking of YouTube comments, I, I did see a bunch of comments that also mentioned doing staff rooms closer to uh, various different places. That's essentially what this little space down here is and that one and that one over there. I do think we're going to need a few more. Oh my God. Is that a large aircraft? Is that, is that a large, is that, is that a large aircraft? It looks, it looks bigger than most of the other ones. It is, is that only a medium aircraft? Oh my God, I'm getting carried away here. No available check-in desks for CA-784, say that again. CA-784 due to all check-in desks connected to the flight stand. Uh, flight, flights stands connected baggage bay are occupied by other flights. Make sure the stands connected baggage bay has enough connected available check-in desks. Interesting. Uh, so, ah, I see what's going on. So you, these check-in desks, need connected to... Do I need to connect it to a stand? 
Is that a thing? So you're connected to that baggage bay and you're connected to that baggage bay. Check-in shouldn't really be a problem then is what I'm thinking. We do have a, so CA-784, that was, that's the large flight that's complaining here. No available check-in desks for CA-784 due to all check-in desks connected to the stands connected baggage bay being occupied by other flights. Oh, right, I see. I see, I see, I see. So what it's actually saying is all of these check-in desks the whole way along here, yeah, they are occupied by other flights that's not really ideal but i don't i don't really know what we're gonna do about that to be totally honest with you because uh, i think we're gonna have to we might have to just extend the uh the terminal a little bit that might be the case or we could do like check-in upstairs that's always an option as well you know do check-in upstairs that then feeds into security Somehow, I'm not really sure what way to feed it into security, but we could certainly feed it into security. Um, unless I have built directly over security, which I have not. Okay, let's try... Let's try some upstairs check-in, I guess, is what we're going to do. That seems like it's going to be a disaster, but we'll give it a shot. So, um, let's go to Terminal Foundation, which is apparently not valid here. Oh, I've already built it in there. I'm an idiot. Okay. Um, yeah, let's try some upstairs check-in then. So from this spot, we want to go, let's do 30 and let's go straight to there. And we'll go on this side and do exactly the same thing. So we'll go uh, 30 and straight to there. And I'm not really sure how exactly we're going to do this because check-in off to the sides is probably not an amazing idea, but we'll give it a shot, I guess. Um, Let's see. Actually, you know what? I'm kind of okay with them having to come back downstairs into, uh, into security. So they can go upstairs to check in and send their bags off, but then they go back downstairs to get through to security. So let's see here. Check-in desks cannot be placed in a secure zone. That's totally fine by me. We'll clear the secure zone from all of this. So, you know, no longer a secure zone. We'll go to check-in desk, and my thinking is we could just line this wall with them. And I think that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to space them out just a little bit. So that uh, there's plenty of space behind them to figure out what we're doing with the with the, with the baggage, essentially. Uh, and I think this side is going to be exactly the same thing. So we're basically going to get, you know, 12 new check-in desks. They're not necessarily super efficient having them, you know, way upstairs and all that, but... It at least means we're not going to be in a situation where, you know, we have planes that do not have the means to get in, you know, get people checked in, right? So we'll do it this way. I'm not going to unpause the game until I have this built either, just because I don't want that plane landing while having some problems, essentially. So that's kind of what's going on there. Uh, let's go ahead and make this whole space a staff area. Let's make this whole space a staff area. And I'm only going to set up the ones on the right side for the time being. I'm not going to go too crazy with it. And my thinking is what we're going to have to do is keep the uh, keep the baggage stuff on this floor. Obviously, we can't really sink it down until we get over there. So we're going to have to also go in and put up some more terminal foundation. And we're going to have to go over here and put up some terminal foundation as well. Now, obviously, like I said, this side here on the left is not getting built right now. Uh, we'll do that later, but we might as well get the foundation in there for when we do get around to, uh, to building all that. So let's go ahead and tear out. Uh, well, I guess that can eh, we'll tear that out. Uh, it doesn't need to be a secure zone whatsoever in uh, in this space. It's all going to be probably staff only, to be totally honest. We could do some little staff rooms in there or do whatever really uh but we'll fill that entire space with secure staff zoning i guess and we'll do the same in here we'll do the same in there we'll do the same down here and the same in all of that space okay so basically what i want to do is i want to go ahead and bring some let me see some conveyor belts we're gonna go for normal conveyor belts i'm gonna bring them all to the back wall i think I'm actually, I don't know if that's, is that going to work? 
Is that going to work? If I put them all at the back wall, can I just extend this the whole way along to there and have those connect? I guess it doesn't matter too much if they slightly overlap in a way. Because obviously they're all still going to the same place. So if this one kind of just turns into there, that's technically fine. So we'll not stress too much about that, I guess. And uh, what we can do is, let me see here. So that's the bottom. So this should go like that. You like that. And you up to there. Uh, so essentially, they're all going to feed onto this one giant conveyor belt. Which, just to be awkward, I am going to have it loop around these spaces here. There's literally no reason to do that. But just, honestly, just because I can, um, I want them to loop around in there. It's a little bit more expensive. So that's, that's you know, uh, good money management is essentially what that is. Uh, we'll bring it over to here. So that's going to be a nice high-speed conveyor connection. Uh, those will be the check-in desks. And we need this to go down, is what we need it to do. So, let's go like... Let's go like this. We'll go from that spot right there. Wait, that's... Oh my god, it's outside the thing, isn't it? Did I really? Okay. I see what I've done there. I see what I've done there. Alright. We need to get more foundation up there, is what we need. So, that bit. And all of this bit over here as well. Then all of those walls need to go, which is... Just great. I may have done some misclicking there and absolutely messed up the way the uh, the foundations went in, but that's fine. So all of that space, that is all still a staff zone. And then what we do is we want to go to conveyor belt system. We want to go to here. We want to go high speed escalator uh, down. So that'll feed into there. And then this just needs to come straight across over here. And that will feed into the same security system, and that will hopefully keep things okay. We just need to make this into an actual check-in space. So let's do that. Let's get some cues in here. And don't worry, I'm not going to make you watch it. I know that's tedious. Okie dokie, job done up here. We've got all of these check-in desks ready to go. This one has flight CA-784 queued up this one has nothing has nothing has nothing uh and this one has flight ca Ooh, hello we got two of them for ca 784 that's interesting okay when is ca 784 so it is due to land at 2020 all right well we'll see what happens there i guess i'm kind of excited though a person can't leave a secure zone why what are you trying to do I'm not, I'm not really sure what you're trying to do. You're not, you're not supposed to be able to get through there. So quit worrying about it, basically, is, uh, is what I'd say there. All right. So CA-784, do to land at 2020. I am, oh, that's rotating. That's not the button I wanted. There's actually a lot of people going to check in there already for that flight. So it's going to be interesting seeing just how busy things get with a, uh, with a large aircraft coming in here. I'm kind of excited though, and I kind of like having this, you know, having all the, you know, all the cargo and whatnot going over that way. It's kind of cool. It is, uh, it is kind of cool. That's AA326. We're less than an hour away from our first large, large aircraft coming into land here. This is gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so good. Also, before it even gets here, I want to go into infrastructure and I want to get myself some fuel tanks is, is what I'm thinking uh, because I think we are going to need them is what we're going to need. So let's do right there, uh, not right there, right there and right there. We can't really do them anywhere else, so that's fine. Um, reason I want those is because I'm thinking I want to do two things. I want to go into here. And I want to hire some more security officers. Not that we urgently need them, but they'll be useful. And passenger service agents as well. We're going to need more of those is what we're going to need. And then I want to have a look at my Jet A1 trucks. Okay, apparently that's closing. Um, I want to have a look if it let me... Okay, it won't let me filter. There we go. Jet A1. So these guys don't get assigned to anything, really. They can be assigned to depots and to lots. But what I'm thinking I kind of want to do is I want to get myself a proper trailer truck for the 
jet A1 stuff because I feel like the big planes are going to need it. So we're going to get five of those. They might not be here in time for the large plane landing, which it should be about to do. That's that's not it, is it? What is that flight? That's OK 403. Where is it? It should be landing right now. That's not it either. What? 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 Where's this giant plane? Oh, there it is. Oh, look at look at the lights on you. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. This makes me so happy. I just realized something though. <laughs> I have just realized something. We don't have any stair trucks or baggage trucks or uh, pushback trucks assigned to these police landing. Oh no. Oh no. Um, right, hold on. Hopefully it'll be on the ground long enough that I can make this work. Um, right. Let me get four of these and we'll assign all four of the, well, assign two to each. So order those. Let me get four belt loader trucks. Let me get, what else can we assign to these? What else do we assign to stands? Stair trucks as well, I guess. Yeah, so stair trucks. We're going to need some stair trucks. Although we really should. We really, really should be using... Um, we really should be using jetways, but I'm sure it's fine. Uh, we're not doing de-icing right now, and we're going to need some large force pushback trucks. So let's go ahead and order all that in. This uh, this plane is just... Gonna, <laughs> no one can get off right now. <laughs> no one can get off the plane right now. This is bad. This is not what we want. We've got a bunch of new products arriving though, so we'll be okay. Let me have a little look. Belt loader truck's almost here. Uh, the... Okay, that was the trailer truck. Okay, so everything's here. Right. Okay, so... Oh my god. So we've got cabin cleaning, catering, and... Catering. Oh, whoa. Oh, we have multiple trucks do this. Okay. Alright. Let me go into my vehicles. Let me go to baggage truck right and let me see so anything not assigned to a stand kind of needs a stand is my thinking so you're assigned let me see so you're not assigned to a stand you're gonna go to stand 17 and let me see you're going to stand 17 and then you're going to stand 18 and you're going to stand 18 as well. Okay. Then the pushback trucks, you're on stand 17, you're on stand 18. So that's those sorted. What else do we need? Belt loader trucks. They don't actually get assigned to stands. That's interesting. These, uh, these large ones. Oh no, they can. Why is this one not letting me assign it to a stand? That's kind of interesting. So I want this one on stand 17. But I can't assign the rest of them. That's really strange. Okay, well, that's a bit weird. All right, we'll see what happens there. We should have enough stuff about now, though, to, to be all right. I don't think it, it'll be the end of the world. These guys should be able to get on the plane. It might be a little bit delayed, but we'll make it work. Uh, what are you doing? Are you just... Oh, you're waiting to refuel? Yeah, we're going to need the big... We're going to need the big trucks for this. So there's another one going into refuel. Let's see. We're going to be... I guess we're waiting on some vehicles getting here. We still have a stair truck on its way, by the looks of it. Have we... There we go. So people are finally getting off the plane. We've got another stair truck going in so they can get off the plane as well. There's no pushback truck here yet. And baggage hasn't been taken off the plane either. Which is a little bit of a worry. Baggage hasn't been loaded onto the plane either, which is a bit of a worry. There's the baggage belt thing coming in, so that'll sort that, I would assume. Let's have a little look at that. So there's baggage finally coming off that plane, but there's no one to actually handle the baggage currently on the ground there. That's not really what you want to see. Oh no, this is, it looks like slowly handling it. There we go, so that is getting loaded onto there. And then that leaves. So there's the baggage kind of handled, I guess. 
So away that goes to drop all of that off. That's a lot of baggage. Good Lord. Oh my God. There's a lot of people waiting in there. All right. So what next? Are we going to start loading the plane? It looks like it. There we go. So yeah, the plane, the plane is actually getting loaded. People are actually getting on board. I mean, that's what you want to see, isn't it? There we go. So this thing might actually leave on time. This thing might actually, I mean, when is it due to take off? Okay, it was due to take off over an hour ago. Uh, never mind. Never mind. It's not going to leave on time at all, but that's all right. How are we looking for flights? So we have another one scheduled. Interesting, we only have the one large flight scheduled. Why is no one going to this one? Why have we got no flights scheduled for this, uh, this stand? That's really weird. I was kind of hoping we'd get more than just the one flight, but there we go. I mean, that plane can, you know, gets pushed back. And I guess, you know, it, it leaves. It does whatever. That's kind of cool, though. I mean, we got, we got our first large flight coming in here. Oh, there's another one scheduled. Fantastic. So we got like two large flights. I mean, that one's only there for a very brief period of time, but that's that's still kind of cool. I'm pretty sure we do have other airlines that have these large flights as well, so I'm sure we'll be all right. Let's see. So we've got we've got that belt loader. We've got that baggage truck. We've got a baggage truck there. Can I assign... There we go. So you can be assigned to the other large aircraft stand is what you can be. So you go stand 18. I don't think we're going to need multiple per stand. I don't think that's actually an option, but we'll give it a shot anyway. We'll see what happens. And then let's have a look at uh, what else are we doing? So pushback done. Stair trucks are not. Uh, did I do the stair trucks? I think I did. Let me have a little look here. Uh, no, I didn't. There's a few that aren't assigned to stands. So, you're going to aircraft stand 17, and so are you. Then you're going out to 18, and let's see, you're going to 18 as well. So, that'll put two stair trucks on each of the large aircraft stands. That'll be the belt loaders as well which will be fantastic. So I don't know if the belt loaders actually have room to go on those stands or not, but there's the uh, stair trucks coming in, which is exactly what we want. Pretty sure there's nowhere for the additional belt loaders to go. So let's sell that one since we only need uh, one of them. And I guess the other one's probably going to drive by shortly as well, which is fine by me, I guess. Um, let's have a little look underground. Do we have the other large stair truck around here anywhere? There it is. So go ahead and uh, we'll sell that vehicle as well once it gets up to the surface, which there it is. Why can't I sell this one? Oh, that one's already leaving the airport. All right. So we're looking for the other one is, is what we're looking for here. And I don't really see it, so I guess I'll not worry too much about it. Uh, either way, we've got everything we need on these large stands, which is perfect. That is exactly what we want. Let's have a look at the flight planner once again. We do have another large flight coming in later today. And then we don't really have any others, which is... I mean, I would have liked more than just the, you know, one or two large flights per day. That's why we've got the two stands, but... I mean, I guess it it is what it is, right? That's That's probably fine. I just want to see this other flight come in because, honestly, I'm just kind of curious. I'm kind of excited to see, you know, this actually working now that we actually have the vehicles here that, you know, run all of this. So, we should have a large flight coming in any second here. Come on. Come on. I think it's late at this point, isn't it? Yeah, it's late landing. That's, that's not what you want. You hate to see that. Oh, there it is. All right. So big old large flight coming in. It'll go to the stand. Immediately, people are starting to get off the plane. Immediately, baggage is starting to get off the plane. So this should be... And there we go. Refueling's going ahead. So this should be able to... 
this should be able to deal with people and, and deal with the flight in a, in a good timely manner right that's my thinking also upstairs is probably absolutely filthy but that's totally fine also also we don't have a uh we don't have a little thing in here can i get i can't get you i can get can't get that one can i only get a two star all right we'll do swift veg in there i guess probably missing quite a few shops around here and then this one over here can be la french is what it can be all right i'd like to think we've done some good here i will say that i have no idea if this security change is doing anything but I'm happy that we've got a large plane in here. That makes me so happy. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. It's been my absolute pleasure, as always. And, as as always, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Because, uh, obviously, you know, this whole baggage thing was suggested in the comments of the last episode. So, if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. But with that in mind, it's been my absolute pleasure. And I'll see you next time. Uh, bye bye